Hey guys, I'm Ben, and today we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the Elgato Stream Deck XL. This is the newest and largest Stream Deck that Elgato makes, and I'm pretty excited to be taking a look at it today. And right about now, you may be noticing that the background and the scenery is not what you would typically see on a YouTube review channel, and that's because that's not what I do here. I'm actually an automotive YouTuber, and we're here in my garage. My channel is all about drifting. I drift the car behind me here in real life. Right now, the engine is out because I'm doing some work on it. And also, every Friday, I live stream and I drift in video games. And that's really one of the big reasons why I picked up this stream deck. Let's open this thing up and see what we got. Here's the box, it's nice and sturdy, well packed, nothing really to see here. On the bottom, of course, it's going to be secured, so in the spirit of overkill on this channel, we're gonna get our steel pocket knife, the chainsaw of pocket knives. So we start out with our quick start guide, of course, and then straight into it, we have our stream deck. We'll take a look at it in just a moment. We've also got a braided USB-C to USB-A cable. It's a pretty nice cable here. And that is one of the change points for this piece of kit is that uh, it's now a detachable cable. Older stream decks do not have that. And last but not least, we have some very, very important safety information. You know how we value safety here on this channel. Check this shit out. He's already getting busy with it. Woo! covers everything in the box. Now let's take a look at the piece de resistance, the Stream Deck. It is wrapped so very nicely here and we're just going to peel off this Elgato sticker to reveal it. Oh and look at that, we have a sticky. Let's give this a peel. This is very nice, it's a non-slip material so that's going to be great on my desk and here is the Stream Deck itself. Now, as you can see, this is a 32 key Stream Deck. It is the largest size. They also have a 15 and a six key, as well as a mobile app, but they have definitely made a few improvements on this. In addition to the huge range of real estate and the nice tactile feel of the buttons, the case actually comes apart. It's held on by magnets. So you can also lay it flat similar to a keyboard or a number pad if you wish. And the USB plugs in here, which then can either run out through this divot or of course can run out through this hole in the back of the case. I'm really excited about the fact that the cable actually comes apart from the device so that you can get a different cable length to suit your needs or if the cable goes bad, your stream deck is of course still viable. When used in this orientation, the deck also has small feet on it which are non-slip and if you decide to go back to the mount, it snaps in with a light magnet force, which is really nice. From the beginning when I started on YouTube, then became a partner and all the way up to now, my philosophy has always been to reinvest anything that this channel makes back into the channel itself with the main goal of improving the viewer experience. And there's two ways I'm really excited to have this stream deck as part of my arsenal moving forward. First and foremost is of course broadcasting. I'm live every Friday night and on my live stream, there's game footage and up to three different camera feeds all going on at once. There's a number of scenes and it's kind of a lot to keep track of. The Stream Deck is gonna simplify and make visual that process so that I don't have to break eye contact with the viewer in order to hunt through OBS, nor do I have to remember different keyboard shortcuts in order to scene switch in that way. It's gonna just make everything visual, be so easy to use, so easy to see. Second of all, of course, it's gonna take my abilities as an entertainer during my broadcast up to the next level because I'll have so many more options, especially with 32 keys at my disposal in one place. I'm gonna be able to have more sound effects, more GIFs. Uh, I can really react to the audience and I can encourage more back and forth with them. And I think that engagement is gonna make it a lot more fun for my viewers on both YouTube live stream and on twitch.tv slash trick. Second of all is going to be productivity. I'm really excited because I don't just live stream. In fact, that's not my primary focus as a uh, YouTuber. I do a lot of video editing. I go out to drift events and I shoot photos, I do photo editing. I'm really looking forward to the fact that these multi-step uh, buttons can be combined in ways to 
make my workflow faster. For example, if I'm editing and I need to apply an effect like a multi-band compressor or lumetri color to a clip, right now I have to select the clip, go into the effects panel, open the correct like nested set of data until I get to the effect that I want and then click, hold and drag that onto the clip in order to deploy those effects. And now I can just set one button to automatically put the multi-band compressor or crossfades or whatever I need onto my different clips. So I feel like that's gonna save me some time. I can do the same for color grading in photos and for adding watermarks. It's going to make the process just faster and more satisfying all around. Now you may be asking yourself, is the Stream Deck for you? Well, I would say if the things that I've mentioned are resonating with you a little bit and getting you thinking, then it might be something to consider. The best way to get into it is probably to get the Elgato Stream Deck mobile app. It's pretty cheap and you can try it for a month or two the software is gonna be exactly the same. So if you like the experience that it gives you working on mobile, then you can consider stepping up to one of their different options. They have a 6, 15, and this 32 key after that if you're looking for something a little bit more dedicated. The only other caveat that I'll point out is, of course, while not having a certain standard of gear can cause people to tune out, like if your audio is just really distorted, the flip side is not true. Having the coolest equipment possible is not going to make people watch your content. And there's just a big learning curve for that. I'm still midway at best through that journey myself. But I will say, if you don't have a good camera, if you don't have good lighting, if you don't have a good microphone, for goodness sake, as cool as these are, they should come after you have at least got your video uh, mic and preferably lighting all set. Once I have more experience using the Stream Deck, I'll come back to this series and make a list video showing some of my favorite and most creative uses for the Stream Deck in my own content creation to give you a little bit of added perspective. Now at this point, if you're finally curious to see what this engine sounds like and what this race car looks like when it's drifting out on track, check out the video on screen now to enjoy some rad drifting content. And I hope I will see you here on the channel again. Have a good night, guys. Peace.